And there have been several recent cases of violence against rideshare drivers, including right here in the valley. And now some drivers say it's time for those companies to come up with better policies to keep them safe. You can work your own schedule. You can be your own boss. Um, kind of just come and go as you wish. Michael Greenfield signed up to drive for Lyft a year and a half ago because it was a flexible way to make some extra cash on the side. Even though the job is to get the passenger from point A to point B, there's still a lot of safety concerns. Michael is starting to feel more worried about who he could be letting into his car after several recent attacks on rideshare drivers. On Tuesday, a rideshare driver was held at gunpoint near MLK in the 95. He pointed a gun at my, my face. And then he took the gun and he, he started whacking, the, whacking the, um, the, the windshield. Just last month, two underage riders in Las Vegas were caught on camera attacking an Uber driver when he refused to give them a ride. And in Tempe, Arizona, a 20 year old passenger is charged with stabbing a pregnant Lyft driver, killing her and her unborn baby. Random strangers are getting into my car. I have no idea who they are. They don't know me. I contacted Lyft to ask how the company helps protect its drivers. A spokesperson told me both drivers and passengers can rate each other in the app. If a driver reports harassment or violence, the rider can be permanently banned. And in an emergency, drivers can also call 911 within the app. Michael says it's not enough. We have to get drug tested. We have to go through background checks. Why can't passengers do the same thing? Michael has set up a camera to record his rides. Just sits right there. As you can see, it films everything. He's also asked riders who use fake names in the app to show him their ID. You're getting into my car. I have no idea who you are. I have a right to identify you. Michael hopes companies like Lyft will start listening more to drivers' concerns so everyone can have a safer experience. Well, there's still a lot of safety precautions that need to be taken seriously. Michael says some passengers have canceled rides with him after they see that he uses a camera, but according to Lyft's policies, recording devices are okay depending on state and local regulations. Faith Tanner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.